That leaves Soto and myself. We can't make it far enough away here without anti-rad. So I made... I got to try to find Camarillo before it's too late. United States Armed Forces. So there's two more levels we missed there. I didn't see a way down. I'm guessing the elevator is blocked off. And I need to fix it with science skill, I guess. Go take a look here. This seems to be the doctor. Hello, how can I help you? I'm radiated. Radiation is very dangerous. You should be more careful. Thank you. Very kind. What do you have for sale? Okay. You do operations? But of course, but it's very costly and time consuming. Tell me about it. Well, I can help make you stronger, more perceptive, perceptive, increase your endurance, help you improve learning process, increase your dexterity. Which would you like more information on? I can only do each operation once. Oh, strength. That's easy to do, but there's a long recovery time. It only costs 2000 strips, but takes three weeks to heal. Yeah, I guess I have time. I'll do it. Okay, here goes nothing. Just kidding. We can start right away. She gazes at you and you slowly slip away. So how are you feeling? You can hardly tell the difference. You're quite a talkative person in your sleep. You're free to go. Good day. So we got a strength operation. About a perception operation. 4,000. I'll pass for now. What, agility? 5,000. Appearance, 3,000. I guess we'll go endurance next. Of eight strength and six endurance. That's pretty good. How many caps do I have still? Nothing else I found on the second floor. Don't really want to loot yet. Trade will kill me. Again. Level three. Steve Greetings. Three. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? I know you're the master scribe, but what does that mean? I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. Interesting. That means you know yes, stuff. Yes, I guess you could say I know stuff. What can I help you with? I'd like to know more about the weapons we can make here. Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. Oh, thank you. What can I help you with? I heard something about hollow discs. How can I read them? Use your Pip Boy 2000 to read the discs. Insert the disc into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, you should be able to scan the data. Where can I learn computer skills? The Brotherhood has some automated courses that you can take. Here, I'll show you. you don't seem to show me anything. Greetings. I have not seen you here before. Are you lost? May I be a service? I was sent here to ask V the history of the Brotherhood. He directs me to the library. This is the library. Here we keep records of all technical data on weaponry and technology. And of course, the history of the Brotherhood. I'd like to know more about the weapons you make here. We must speak with V, the head scribe, about that. I will go ask V. Thank you, my friend. Three, three, either way. 
I guess we should head up and speak to Maxim first. It seems like he will send us down here later. Was this a vault? The store looks like a vault that the Brotherhood just repurposed. Luna shit. So you are the one who made it out of the ancient order alive. And who are you? The name is Matthew. I am officially Maxon's assistant, but I am also here to make sure no one messes with the old man. What do you do as Maxon's assistant? I take care of all the paperwork. He could not do paperwork to save his life. Also, if he clears a weapon upgrade for one of the brotherhood of the brothers, I process that order. Okay, thank you for the information. You must be the man himself. Hello, youngster. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm, uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll, uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> Kinda like me, huh? You look oddly familiar. You look like the guy from Shady Sands. Do you have any clues as to what behind the disappearance of the caravans? When we heard about the missing caravans, we sent out a few scouts east and north. The ones that went north never returned. One came back from the east. He talked about a score of strange beings, all muscle with burning eyes. The elders aren't doing squat, but I'm getting ready just the same. I ran into these creatures you were describing. They were not to be taken lightly. Then you understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside, like you. A thousand caps will check out what's going up on up north. Pretty interesting set of priorities and loyalties you got there. You know what? I think Bundy has decided that he needs to fit in with these guys. Look at their setup they have here and these big guns. Fine, I'll do it for free. This is an investment in my future with them. What the hell do you want now? Yeah, I'm to ask you some questions. Away. You tell me about the Brotherhood's history. Look, I don't have time for a story that long right now. Here, all of us grew up on this. Can I ask you another Shit. question? Do you know anything about Deathclaw? No, oh, just another stupid rumor. Some people say it's a huge fanged monster, and others say it's a vampire. Well, I've seen these beasts, and they're sort of both. I guess it's more of a fanged huge monster. Yeah, far away. What the elders? Well, you see, there's four of them. And that's about all they can ever agree on. They can't even agree if they want to piss. Much less pick a pot to piss in. Brotherhood's main purpose. Our main goal is to survive. The scribes copy old plans for weapons or design new ones, and the knights make guns from them. Most guns come from us. Thank then you. get out. I have work to do. Let's talk to Matthew. Want a barter? Sorry, I forgot your name. My name is Matthew. I'm officially Maxon's assistant, but I'm also here to make sure no one messes with the old man. Okay, so it seems we need to go up north for him and investigate the caravan. Or I guess the, the missing brotherhood initiates or paladin. What happened to my armor? We're back on the third level to go learn more about the Brotherhood. Well, Sophia, can you tell me about the Brotherhood's history? Well, it's good to see someone interested in our great history, unlike others around here. Here you go. This is a disc of some of our earliest writings. Thank you. I should have two new hollow discs. Okay, let's read Maxon's log. While my orders as active commanding officer allowing the ultimate death of Colonel Robert Spindle during this time of crisis, the full base security team has been deployed to the security bunker at Lost Hills. This directive also includes the families of the officers and enlisted men. Unless otherwise directed from a proper representative of the War Department, this order will stand as written. Operation 1. 
all the military personnel and their families are to be vacated to the base by 0825th October 2077. All personnel traveling under command will make their way to Lost Hill Base. No leave has been granted. Operation 2, all civilian personnel are directed to remain at base pending orders from their legal command structure. Equipment deemed necessary to the survival of the base. Military personnel is to be immediately drawn from stores. Proper authorization will follow, time permitting. Operation 4, all codes of military justice will be harshly enforced. A military personnel and civilian personnel in joint military operations. Until such time as consistent and authorized communications can be established with the War Department, these orders will have precedence over any previously established orders. Captain Maxson, 24, 2077. 2077. What? So how old is Maxson? Or is this like his father? 90 years old? Damn. So this is sort of a vault. It's just a military vault. How about Sophia's tape? The exodus from the accursed base was a trying time for the men and their families. While there was no radioactive fallout to contend with, they were frequently beset by the follow of humanity. Roving, roving bands of psychotic marauders attempted several attacks on that noble group. The company itself was in no danger, for they wore the armor of power. Members of the families were not so lucky. Once the vermin found out they were easily repelled, they began to fire on the unarmed civilians from a distance. They took great many casualties, yet for every member of the exodus that was struck down in this way, our noble brethren took two lives from the wasteland. Finally, the forefathers came to the safety of the bunker. Captain Maxson, the great deliverer, decreed this to be our new home. And all was well. In the fullness of time, the bunker became our home and our temple, and our salvation from the terrors of the outside world. We began to build and shape our fortress into something glorious, the beauty of which the technologically bereft world had never seen before. I have no idea what bereft means. Yet, there were those who sought still more. These restless souls demanded we took to look to the southeast for the advanced technology that was supposedly housed there. Captain Maxson warned these Imperious use that the research facility was doubtlessly destroyed when we were spared. But they would not hear his words. They took their sanctified armor and headed off to the Holy Grail. But not before they spoke the Deliverer's name in vain, questioning his very bravery. These men were never heard from again. Okay, so from what I understand, the Brotherhood is basically ex-US military that had standing orders of if shit hit the fan, they would fall back to Bunker Hill and proceed surviving under basically martial law. And a large group of them ended up leaving to look for technology down southeast, I guess, in the glow where we went. But they were never seen again. And that's why they're sending, like, raiding parties or scouting parties to try to figure out what is going on. Oh, is this the armory? Oh, me this is open. Hey, friends. Ah, so you're the new initiate. Welcome aboard. What can I do for you? Where can I get some weapons? You would have to see Michael to be issued a weapon. He can't authorize you for one, though. For that, you would have to see Talius. Okay, thanks for the info. You don't sell anything? 
I guess I'll go do Talias's quest. So first things first, I need to rescue the initiate from the hub. So that's where we're gonna go, to the hub. Brotherhood of Steel basically has a vault here. So what are the vaults? The Brotherhood of Steel is like a military vault, you could say, that was meant to survive for forever. They had rations, they had supplies, they had, I guess, a water chip, everything a vault needs. And they've been thriving and exploring and getting more technology. While our vault, Vault 13, hasn't really thrived. It has just been like suspended and not even time. Just it's just barely living, scraping by. And our water chip broke down when all these other vaults' water chips have been working for a long time. We didn't find a wire chip at Vault 15. So the Brotherhood had not have a wire chip, chip, I assume. We had a wire chip that just crapped out on us. Acropolis has the wire chip that I now took back to my vault. The funny thing is that Vault 15, from what I remember reading, was supposed to be a super safe earthquake proof vault yet an earth a schism is what ultimately led to its demise and the necropolis the necropolis vault seems to have failed or something like there was not even a vault door So, assuming that there's, like, experiments going on within the vaults, or at least, like, the reason the, the rich people bought these vaults was to play their sick, twisted games, I, I sort of feel the vaults were made just to open at different times. They didn't make them, like, completely future-proof. Obviously, the Brotherhood of Steel vault opens whenever the Brotherhood military personnel deem it safe. So I'm not quite sure when they started leaving the vault. It seems like they, they've been leaving since the beginning. Then we have Vault. Yeah, the vault from the Kropolis seems to have just failed from the get-go and everyone became ghouls. That's why Harold from over at the hub. Well, that's where he came from, most likely. So he said that something failed, basically, and, and the vault never shut. And that's why they, they had to leave there. Vault 15 lasted for a while until a schism, I believe. At which point they had to leave. So yeah, it, it seems like vault just planned exactly when they wanted the vaults to open. One vault never shut. One failed about probably halfway through when ours did. But they were forced out because of the schism. They could no longer live there and the raider attacks. Our vault opened just because we had to open it to to find the water chip. So we were like the, the guinea pigs of seeing what would happen if we stayed in the vault, but eventually force us out of the vault to see if we would leave or if we would stay and hide in the vault. Maybe it was like a backup because the other vaults were meant to fail. And this one here just had the possibility to survive. It's very interesting. I wish there was more lore behind... ...behind the vaults. But that's why I'm playing through the games. Maybe there is. Either way, we have to head back to the hub and look for the... ...initiate... ...that Talo sent. 
go about asking for a Brotherhood Initiate. I guess we'll go check with Beth. They keep saying she has the best gossip in town. See if that's true. Why, hello again. Aren't you looking handsome today? Still alive, I see. I'm starting to worry. What can I get you? I ask you some questions. Heard any good rumors? Nope. That's all. Okay, so there's two places I haven't been. I'm going to pray it's the first place. I remember I killed those very hostile people down in downtown. And there's a locked door back there. Maybe with my lockpick I can open it. And maybe there's someone inside. I see a bed. Oh, nice. See a battered man. Thank you, stranger. I don't know how many weeks, perhaps months, those thugs have had me here. I'm very grateful for your help. I'm sure the Brotherhood of Steel is also. I knew it. I'm from the Brotherhood. I've been looking for you. I really appreciate you helping me. But why are you trying to lie to me? Do you not think I know every member of our order? Hala sent me. Oh, how? I'm sorry. You must have passed that test that elders made up. I completely forgot about that. Well, my thanks. It was even deeper. I'm glad you never gave up. My life could have been in jeopardy at any moment. It must have taken you a while to hunt me down. The city is huge and the obstacles you must have overcome. Just lucky, I guess. Well, I'm glad your luck held out. I've heard some bad things about Old Town. The Skags are creepy. I think that's something else. There's another place down here I thought it was going to be, possibly. Can I check that out since I'm already here? I unlocked the door. Nice. Come in. Holy shit. I was hit for no, no damage. Locked. Guessing there's another mine. Try to go around. Oh, dog meat was hit for 19. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll come back. I don't want to risk my followers dying here. Back to the Brotherhood of Steel. Hopefully they can give us some goodies. I'm also supposed to ask about a laser weapon. Back at the Brotherhood of Steel. Let me go talk to Tullus. Brother Ted Bundy. I received word from Brother Johnson. Jonathan, thank you for rescuing him. You're welcome. Ask for your reward, I'll give you a choice of one of the following. Um... I don't even think it's a question. Power armor for sure. I'll key your authorization in right now. Go pick it up from Michael. Oh, yes. Michael, have something to pick up? Power armor. Be sure to take care of it. I can't give out more than one set. Was there any, another item you needed? Oh, that's fine. Thank you. Okay, so look at that. My current... Armor class is 25. Oh, finally. Looking pretty good. I guess it's really heavy, but you don't have a weight limit. Well, you, the weight doesn't affect you when you have it on. Well, nice. I officially look like a Brotherhood of Steel member. Let's go up and talk to... I need, I need to talk to a pilot and someone to show me the laser pistol. I also have to go north and look for something. What do you do here? What is it you do as 
Breeze Assistant. My area is of specialty. My area of specialty is the Brotherhood's history. It seems that some people around here have forgotten the importance of our history. What could be the importance of more important than history? Bree seems to think that the research in new weaponry and information gathered from mutant autopsies is important, more important than our history. She has forgotten that our history is a vital part of our lives. It has gotten so bad that many of the new initiates don't even know who Roger Maxson is or what exactly he did for us. Looks like Bree is the person I want to talk to. Goodbye. I agree that history is important important, but new technology and better weapons is what I'm looking for. You need to speak with Free about things of this nature. Okay, so I don't think this is Maxon. The original Maxon from the history. It's probably his son. Where is Free? Now I think about it. Wasn't she in here? You see Vri here. What can I help you with? I'd like to know more about weapons we Speak make here. Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. Thank you. Who are the knights? These guys? Knight Paul. Let's go talk to him. Ah, so you're the one, huh? Well, who are you? The moniker Kyle. I've never met a myth before. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just that no one has ever made it back from the ancient order. What? Then why did they send me down there? <laughs> I guess they just wanted to get rid of you, huh? Well, the joke's on them. Yeah. Say, what do you do here? I fix stuff, friend maintenance checks, that sort of crap. What kind of stuff? Power armor, anything else that needs fixing. I'd give you this power armor right here, but it's missing its systolic motivator. It's useless without it. Where could someone get one of these? Well, they've got more than enough up in the supply room, but Michael and his damn form say that this particular suit isn't up to specs. Damn bureaucrats. What do you mean not up to specs? See this eye patch right here? I had to re-solder it in place. And it don't look as pretty as the ones to as it needs to be for inspection, I guess. So if I brought you this motivator, would you fix it for me? Well, wait a minute there, fella. That would take a good couple hours. I'd loan you a manual and my tools, but you'd have to repair it yourself. Ah, uh, thanks. Not sure I can do that. Night Polly? Bree told me I could see a new weapon. Yes, the latest in handheld laser technology it takes a small pistol from a work table and hands it to you. This is nice. Can I keep it? That one won't do you much good. It's still lacking the lens and the, the M amplifier. He takes the pistol back from you and puts it on the work table. If you really want one, go talk to Tullus or Michael. Thanks, I'll be going now. Well, Michael's downstairs next to Tullus. Let's head up and see Maxim. Well, again, Brother Ted Bundy, how can I help you? Who are the important people around here? Well, we are all important, but I know who you're referring to. There's Rambas, he's our head paladin, also known as Master Knight. Then there's Free, she's the Master Scribe. And of course, we cannot forget our distinguished High Elder Maxon. Tell me about Rambus. I haven't met him. Rambus is my best friend, mentor, idol, and father figure. All combined into one. It's a little creepy to just lay, lay it all out on me. He's a little rough, but he has to be, to be in the position he's in. If you ever need to talk to him, he's normally in his office. I mean, room. At the other side of this level, across from the guard room. Oh, thanks. That's all I wanted to know. May I help you? May I ask you a few questions? What can you tell tell me about the surrounding area? The hub and the boneyard are south 
mountains are east, and desolate wasteland north. Whoever goes there never returns. <laughs>